So hello, welcome one and all to what is certainly in terms of international football in Latin America, the ultimate grudge match. Two absolute superpowers who also happen to be neighbours on a continent widely recognised as football's home. It is a rivalry that has a history which lasts well over a century and has of course been ranked top of all footballing rivalries by media and supporters alike. It comes as little surprise then that this game is considered to be international football's equivalent of the Super Classico. The 11 of Brazil, the 11 of Argentina, some of them friends, many foes in club football lining up for a united cause. The Estadio José Alvalade in Lisbon, a really impressive arena, named of course in honour of the founder of its occupants, Sporting Lisbon. They have thrown down the gauntlet with that anthem. Now to match it. It's as friendly as it can be in the circumstances, but you feel the rivalry. Well, exhibition match sounds like an easy ozy game of football, Peter, and a picture-perfect occasion until the word pride gets a mention. And, and Firmino! Oh, surely that deserved better. It didn't quite come off on this occasion, but it only needs a gentle tweak. Point. Paredes and it's played forward Di Maria Messi in with the challenge breaks on here and he's searching through he's won on Firmino and he's got it what a start and what a contribution from the main man I had a feeling he might do something given his reputation but to do it like that, absolutely brilliant. I wasn't expecting that. Calm, composed, confident. What a super goal. Ah, oh, that's just clever. He made the keeper think he was going one way, only to outfox him by going the other. Very nice. Brazil take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. Oh, look, this is just what the fans wanted. And now that they're celebrating the opener, I think they'll want to see their team make all the running from here. Hoists it forward. There's a move that looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. A real chance to break. Danny Alves. Felipe. Thiago Silva. Brazil scored early, of course, and it's 1 0. Di Maria displaying his defensive capabilities there. That's no striker's tackle. You have to admire commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing. But instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to, uh, to dig in for his team here. Talia Fico. Paredes. 
Getting on for a third of the way through the game. Just brushed off the ball there. Taliafico was alert to the possibilities, but in the end, it, that's a foul. Simple decision for the referee. Danny Alves. He's gone for it! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Felipe really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. Di Maria goes looking. He's through, now is he in? Some excellent tackling here, and that one a perfect example. And here's Coutinho. Coutinho. Oh, surely! Well, the crowd clearly like what they just saw. Some real no-nonsense defending. Lo Celso. And here's Messi. He's got away. Looks to clip it forward. That's a brilliant interception. And it's half time here. And here we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. But there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Any strong opinions on the first half? Brazil clearly are benefiting from their homework. They've dealt with anything that's been thrown at them and have been smart on the break. Brazil, the happier of the teams, heading in for half-time, 1-0 up. We're promptly into the second 45 minutes. Shapes to shoot! It's in! Well, it certainly livened things up a bit, and that next goal now is absolutely crucial. Finishing doesn't come simpler than that. Bang in front of goal. Yeah, I really can't say enough as to how good the final ball was. It took the defence out of the equation for that split moment, and the damage was all done. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Ah, look, Peter, I was on the fence before a ball was kicked, and uh, I still haven't moved. And here's Danny Alves. Di Maria. Taliafico did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Forward it goes. Firmino. Balls loose, who's getting there? Peter, we can only applaud that quality of tackle in the circumstances. It was probably goal-saving. Paredes. Foyt tries a pass forward. Philippe Coutinho. Richarlison. Daniel Alves. Los Celso. Oh, they've broken out here, and this could be the moment. Just the goalkeeper to beat. And he's there to hoof it away. Now can going for goal.
Argentina have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. Argentina given another corner. Towering header! Their attempt, just the wrong outcome. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work, though. Thiago Silva brings it over to the other flank. Foyt. Di Maria, who has made his impact already. Argentina merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Messi has created one goal already. Gets wrestled off the ball. Look, this can still go either way. It, it's a Guerrero! Goal! Argentina! They've done it! It was coming! They have their reward! A pretty simple finish in the end. What do you think, Jim? Well, considering he has a bit of a, a shoot on sight policy, he was the one player that should have been picked up then. It was both careless and costly from where I'm sitting. Argentina making consecutive changes here. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Well, the... Firmino! Great build-up. It all deserved a better ending. That was created because of good, lively movement, which pretty much dictated the pass. Pereira. Herrera plays it forward. Aguero. Allen. Time added on four minutes. Now it's Roberto Firmino. Herrera. Going through. And here's Aguero. Herrera. Oh, he's broken through. Looking to get within range. Added time is up. And there goes the whistle. And in the end, it got away. They just weren't allowed to build on their lead. They lost their lead and they lost the game. Thoughts on what we've just seen? Yeah.